Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and I'm here today for week two of the Happy Go Lucky Sew Along. I am so excited to see all the people that have been sharing their fabrics and their star blocks from last week. It's been a lot of fun to see. And I've also received a lot of emails about fabric requirements and what can I use and will this work or will that work? So I'm gonna take a little bit of time at the beginning of the video to address those questions as well as I can. I'm also gonna give you some ideas for nine patches and because you will have bits and pieces left over that you can use that you might be able to work into some other projects and nine patches are just fun and they're fast and they're simple. So we do have a lot to talk about today. I'm excited to get going and also just want to remind you that there is a free PDF printable that you can use to keep track of your progress and we'll have that linked in the description and well let's go ahead and get started. Okay so as I mentioned in the beginning I first wanted to well first I want to show you the cute little PDF so hopefully you have already downloaded if not we'll have a link to that initial blog post that I did where you can go and download this and my daughter Chelsea did it. It has all the fabric requirements and then it has little check boxes for your blocks. So your stars, there are only three required. We talked last time about how you can make more and if you do that just mark off some of the other blocks to replace them with. And then the two different styles of nine patches, there, you'll be making 25 of each, and then the 61 churn dash. So I really think she did a cute job with, with this little handout, and it really will help keep you on track. So uh, today we're going to talk about the nine patch blocks. And, but first, as I mentioned, I want to address some questions that I've been getting about fabric requirements. So uh, the the fabric requirements on the pattern are one fat quarter bundle with 25 mediums and darks and 13 lights or low volumes. And that is what is contained in the Simply Delightful fat quarter bundle. That's what I used for my quilt. Now I did have leftover fabrics when I was done. In addition to that, you need at least one yard of background or at least four to five low volume fat quarters for the scrappy backgrounds. So you will need to have that for sure. And then setting triangles, inner border, outer border, binding, backing, those are kind of the non-negotiables. But what you can do, if you'll notice, so the bundle had 13 light and low volume fat quarters. So that is three and a quarter yards. So if you want to add that yardage, then you would really only need the 25 kind of print fat quarters. And a lot of you have written in, can I use a fat eighth bundle? Well, a fat eighth bundle is generally just one fat eighth of each print. So it, if it has, it just depends on what it has. You'll have to look and see how many dark prints are in that fat eighth bundle. And then can you add um, extra yardage? So a fat eighth bundle definitely will not work by itself, but if you added in a few more fat eighths and made sure that your background requirements add up, you would it would probably get you most of the way there and then just add in a tiny little bit more fabric. Same thing, I've had questions, can I use two layer cakes? Two layer cakes is about the same amount of fabric as a fat eighth bundle. So just the only difference is that you have 10 inches of width instead of nine inches of width. So no, you would still, even with two layer cakes, you would still need a little bit extra. But really what I would do if you're using something that's readily available and you have a fat eighth bundle or you have two layer cakes, I would go ahead and get started and see how far you can get because you might get even further than you think and just have to buy a, a little bit extra as long as you have the background yardage that you need. There really is a lot of background in this quilt. And then one more thing, I, I actually did have somebody ask about using multiple charm packs and uh, charm packs will work for 
all of the block pieces. If you have enough of them and you have a lot of background, I would say go for it. I, I can't tell you exactly how many charm packs it would take. I haven't done the math for that, but you are definitely able to cut your pieces from charm packs. And so hopefully that helps answer some of the questions out there. The other option you could do is really, this is a almost an 80 by 80 quilt. So you could make a smaller quilt if you're just sewing with a couple of layer cakes or a fat eighth bundle and you have the background fabric that you need, you could just do fewer rows and make some different sizes. And maybe I'll work that up for next time and just tell you some different options if you made X amount of blocks, how, how big your quilt would be, so. Okay, so let's talk about nine patches. The directions in the pattern are for really easy strip piecing and so that you will be making blocks that have the darker print in the, I call them the inside positions, and you'll also be making blocks that have the darker print in the, out, you know, the four, four outer corners and the center. So you'll be doing both, and when you cut the strips, you'll actually be cutting those strips so that you can make both types of those blocks. So you'll be doing strip set A and strip set B, and it will tell you how many units that you need to cut. Uh, it's also really, really effective with scraps. Now you are going to have some little pieces left over, and I just wanted to give you a few ideas for that. While I was sewing, I still need to get this, I'm going to make this into a pillow. So I just took a lot of the pieces that I had left over and put them together in, uh, when I was done. So you can kind of tell that this was a leftover dark, light, dark, and this was a leftover light, dark, light. And I just kind of alternated with the darks. So that's why I've got the two, because these were all just leftovers from my strip sets. And so I did 18, uh, I did nine by nine. So this will make an 18 inch pillow without a border. And so anyway, just, just an idea of what you can do because you are gonna have pieces here and there left over. I also wanted to give you a couple of pattern ideas with your leftover pieces. And one of them is my scrappy nine patch quilt. It's on the blog, we'll have a link to that in the description. And then I also have a nine patch table runner that is, would be a great project to use if you, with your leftover nine patch units that you can make from your scraps. And then Chelsea has a fun little quilt pattern called Beachfront. And in it, she has done, the nine patches are all the same, but it would be super cute to do them scrappy. And so you could use her pattern with your leftover nine patches. And I think you would also need a charm pack to go with that for the way that quilt is laid out. But just wanted to give you a couple other ideas. Those, those two quick and easy scrappy patterns that I have and then the one that Chelsea has. And so, a couple of notes about the sew along. Since you are making 50 blocks, we are gonna give you two weeks before we come back and talk about churn dashes. And I have some fun ideas for you for the churn dash blocks as well. So we're gonna give you two weeks before we come back and post another video. There will be another video next Thursday. It just won't be the next post in this sew along. And so that gives you two weeks to make your 59 patches. And I, I think they're quick and easy and fun and you should be able to do that in two weeks. And also just wanted to say I am loving seeing the blocks that you're making. I noticed a, a lot of star blocks being posted in the, face, the Sherry and Chelsea Facebook group and, and noticed somebody posted, hey, I'm doing five stars for my quilt instead of the three. So yeah, make it yours and have fun with these nine patch blocks. Okay, so that's it for week two of the Happy Go Lucky Quilt Sew Along. It has been so fun to have so many of you joining in. It has just, I love seeing your progress and I know that over the next couple of weeks I'm gonna see lots of fun nine patch blocks. Just as a reminder, I am giving you two weeks to sew those 59 patch blocks that you need to make, 25 
with the darks in the outer corners in the center and 25 reversed. Uh, we'll have a video here on the channel next Thursday, but we will be back to talk about the churn dashes for this sew along in two weeks from today. So if you enjoyed today's video, please share it with a friend, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and hit the like button. Thanks so much for stopping by.